the Bala Creek rock art site. This prominent rock art panel is situated in an area saturated with tangible relics from deep antiquity. Our ancestors created a prehistoric legacy thousands of years ago, which even today we can walk in their footsteps and touch the stones they erected circa five millennia ago. Within a short walk of Bala Craig rock art is a chambered cairn, standing stones and a henge. Bala Craig is a very well preserved natural rock panel. Over 150 symbols were painstakingly carved. This outcrop is part of a dense concentration of prehistoric carvings in the Comartan area. The site is situated at the bottom of a valley. The majority of rock art is higher up on sloping ground. Inside the protective fence is three rock panels covered with cup and ring designs. Five millennia after these designs were created, we can run our fingertips over these enigmatic symbols and imagine what they represent. One thing is sure, these designs must have been very important to the ancient people who created them. The petroglyphs were created around 3000 to 2500 BC. It is likely they used quartz stones as a tool to peck out the designs. They did not use metal tools. Balakraig is decorated with simpler and smaller designs unlike the nearby and elaborate Achnabrek. The dominant glyph here is the common cup mark. Some of these are in clusters. Some of the cups are enclosed by no more than two rings. Perhaps the outcrop was seen as special before it was chosen to be decorated. There may be a connection to a natural pool of water nearby. Today this pool is marked by wetland and tall grasses seen to the middle distance. This location offers views to the coast. Theories are ten a penny with little evidence regarding the meaning of the petroglyphs. A few suggestions are symbols of fertility rituals, a guide for travellers and an astronomical calculator to predict eclipses. Research has suggested the motifs helped the prehistoric people make sense of the world. The Balak Rake site has been important since the 1800s and been studied several times. Some of the nearby sites like Ballymena Standing Stones have the same cup and ring designs. Perhaps these outcrops were relocated and reused for a new purpose in later sites. Achnabrek Rock Art Part 1 Achnabrek is the best location in the UK for ancient rock carvings. The landscape around Comartin is saturated with enigmatic petroglyphs of circles, dots and lines which were intricately carved by the prehistoric people onto exposed rock outcrops in the area we now call Argyll and Butte. There are over 330 rock art panels in the Comartin environs. A 30 metre by 60 metre fenced area contains three rock outcrops, panel A being the lower rock sheet and panel B is the middle panel which has a cup and ring design one metre wide and panel C is the highest outcrop where we have three rare carvings which do not fit into the traditional cup and ring designs and these three rock panels contain the most extensive petroglyphs in Britain. Our ancestors from 3000 BC to 1500 BC created these symbols which must have been very important. Panel A Panel A has 83 symbols spread over its large rock sheet. A further 100 glyphs are on the upper two outcrops. The Achnabrek designs are quite straightforward with many of the cup marks encased by one or multiple rings. Some cups have channels or gutters radiating from the centre. Various people worked and reworked the petroglyphs. Earlier hollows were later surrounded by rings and some circles were pecked out to touch older glyphs. The long gutters go through earlier circles with some linking two or more 
sets of the cup and rings together. At least one set of cup and rings appears to have been pecked over in an effort to it being erased. The motifs were lightly carved at different times by various people. The fragile surfaces are full of fissures and cracks. Some of the glyphs run parallel to these natural lines, others are bisected. Panel B Panel B is the middle outcrop and has a one metre long carving. A few theories for the rock art is sperm entering an egg, vessels to capture blood of sacrificial victims, or a type of game to play marbles. Along the Atlantic coast from Scotland to Portugal, similar designs can be found which suggests a shared knowledge over distance. Argyle folklore in the 1800s thought cup and ring designs were hoof prints. Sir James Young Simpson, a doctor, made a modern study of Achnabrek in the 1860s and he undertook a groundbreaking survey of rock art in Scotland. Achnabrek has no human or animal carvings. Panel C Panel C is the highest rock surface and holds the prominent horn spiral motif. There is a similar glyph to this on the nearby Templewood stone circle. There are two other similar designs which have been found on Orkney's Westry stone and Ireland's Newgrange in the Boyne Valley. Comartin is situated between these two great Neolithic hubs. The spirals are usually found in structures like passage tombs, stone circles or decorated artefacts. They may also be older than the common cup and ring designs. Observing the landscape from this elevated position around winter solstice, the sun travels low on its arc over Loch Gilp, which was likely very important to the prehistoric people and a key factor in the location for the carvings. Perhaps this outcrop was a sacred location to the ancients. A local woman found a previously unrecorded, elaborately carved outcrop near Achnabrek in 2008. A storm caused trees to fall and exposed the panel. Archaeologists and volunteers have found lots of rock art sites around the glen. Achnabrek Rock Art Part 2 A short 150 metre walk from the main Achnabrek enclosure is a second site known as Achnabrek 2. The site has beautiful southern scenery towards Loch Gilp. This fenced off area has 63 motifs on a domed rock surface with at least 15 multiple rings. One of these is a five ring symbol. The Neolithic people carved these abstract shapes onto exposed rock surfaces and intentionally or unintentionally, these carvings have lasted circa five millennia. The ancient inhabitants of Argyll and Butte left behind a megalithic legacy from deep antiquity. They carefully chose these natural rock outcrops and erected standing stones and decorated them with peculiar circular designs. The petroglyphs seem to be located at prominent locations in the landscape. Archaeologists find complicated glyphs appear at important locations on the land like routes and boundary areas. The best time to view the glyphs is when wet during or after rainfall. Hugo Anderson Weimark, a researcher, carved out hollows like they did in the Neolithic and Bronze Age and found it took him between one and a half and half an hour to achieve this. His tools were hammer stones made of quartz. The same tools were found during excavation at Tor Blaren rock art site two and a half miles away. Theories are rife on the meaning of the symbols. A few examples are star maps or vessels for casting and mixing bronze. A quote from Hihaka Sapa, a Native American Indian says, the power of the world always works in circles and everything tries to be round. In the old days, all our power came to us from the sacred hoop of the nation, and so long as the hoop was unbroken, the people flourished. The 
the Cairnbine Rock Art Site. Close to the extensive Achnabrek sites is Cairnbine inscribed rocks. There are two sites here and both are in the care of Historic Environment Scotland. This film looks at the unfenced second site, which is much more elaborate than the fenced off section, where the carvings are hard to make out. 100 metres from the enclosed site is an extremely well-preserved rock panel. This is one of the best rock outcrops to view ancient glyphs, not only in the Comartin area, but the whole of Scotland. The petroglyphs are very clear. 29 symbols were carved onto the rock panel. From this location is beautiful views to a once important route into the Comartin Glen area. The large motifs seem to be in clusters of three, and here we have interlocking conjoined designs, which is unusual. At the close by Achnabrek site, the carvings only slightly touch. There is also a possible star design here. These enigmatic glyphs are thought to be 5,000 years old. You can also find cup mark carvings on standing stones at the nearby Ballymenach and Netherlarge standing stones. Theories regarding the meaning of the carvings are images of ripples made by raindrops or a monument to commemorate the dead. Another good time to view the glyphs is when the sun is setting low. In 1830, Archibald Curry, who was a schoolmaster, was the first person to write about the Cairnbran rock art. His theory was the circles may represent the orbits of planets around the sun. Similar designs are found along the Atlantic fringe from Scotland to Portugal. The ancient people in the Comartin area were busy creating structures which exist into our present day and we can still enjoy visiting these fascinating ancient sites. Check out author and dowser David Cowan's work who has done fascinating research into rock art, standing stones and stone circles in the Perth and Kinross area. Ronald Morris, a rock art enthusiast and lawyer, compiled 104 theories regarding the meaning of these ancient symbols. The Balak Mile site in Ayrshire is another major rock art site which is well worth visiting. Cairnban is situated on the B841 road with the walk to the rock art site starting next to the Cairnban Hotel. Mickle Glassery. At the entrance to Comartin Glen is Comickle Glassery. Here we have a rock outcrop with 150 motifs carved into the natural rock surface. This is just one of many prehistoric rock carving locations in the Comartin area. It is thought the Bronze Age people created these enigmatic symbols around 2800 to 2000 years ago. The surface is well preserved and has lots of cracks and fissures and these natural lines seem to have been taken into account when the glyphs were carefully carved. The rock panel is densely decorated with rock carvings unique among the Comartin sites. There are several keyhole-like designs which are not found elsewhere in the area and these keyhole designs may symbolise the female vulva. There are mostly common cut marks here. Five of these are surrounded by a single ring. There are no recognisable human or animal designs and these petroglyphs appear surreal and abstract. Hammer stones made of quartz may have been used by the prehistoric people to painstakingly peck out the designs. When the quartz is struck, a greenish glow emits from the stone. There was evidence at the nearby Torblaren site during excavation. Quartz was smashed, possibly during ceremonies. These ancient symbols can be found in the UK from North England up to Scotland. 
The Comartin area is the best location in the UK for prehistoric rock carvings. The designs here must have been very important to the prehistoric people of Northern Britain and beyond, especially with the abundance and size of the designs in the Comartin area. Many, many theories have been put forward for the meaning of these designs, a few examples being a way of communicating with the other world, maps or even language. Comico Glassery is a very small village. The outcrop is situated between Loch Gilphead and Comartin, just off the A816 road and past Bridgend. The site is in the care of Historic Environment Scotland. It is signposted and protected by a fence. Before Caledonia is a Scottish prehistory project which focuses on the Neolithic and Bronze Age stone circles, standing stones and rock art. Before Caledonia is also a Facebook group. Feel free to share the videos and leave a comment for a personal reply. Thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons and a megalithic thanks to the prehistoric people of Comartin Glen.